Hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome to my channel again. In this quick video, I will show you how to easily add any VST plugin into FL Studio. This is FL Studio version 20. And after you install new software, new VST plugin that comes with your new gear, or you just bought something, you go to add to more plugins and to refresh plugin list. This is the first step that you need to do after installing new software because your hard disk drive will be scanned and here under the VST free or VST new, your new VST plugins should appear. In my case, this is Analog Lab 4 and 5, which, has, which I recently installed. So the next step, the next tip that I would like to give you in this video is how to make them uh, easily accessible here. So how to make this plugin to be a favorite. And to do this, you go again to add to more plugins and to manage plugins. And this video will show up. I need to bring it from the second monitor. It should like look like this. And then you look for all the paths. If, you, if the fast scan didn't find your VST, you should add it here. But then you look after all your plugins in your system. And here is this analog lab five and four and I mark them with the star to be your favorite. And after doing it, you just close the window and now click light mouse button replace or insert. And as you can see, the analog lab is now available. So let's add it. The analog app or any other VST plugin is loaded into memory into, you know, and it's prepared to producing sound. And after it's loaded, you have the output of the sound directly into uh, FL Studio. Uh, you may notice the thing that if you press here, not all the options are available here. For example, the MIDI and audio configuration is not available here. Why? Because this is VST plugin. It's not a standalone app. You can, of course, start the analog lab as a standalone app and use to play it and capture the output but in this scenario we are using it as the VST plugin so basically all the output will be done directly to FL Studio so it inherits the settings of audio from FL Studio so if you for example would like to change the settings of um, for example the ASIO drivers or something like this you need to go to options and then check them okay so let's try to do this If you close the window and would like to, you know, uh, call it again, you just press the the channel rack again, and it will show up as you can see now. So you can now go to liked and change the preset. <laughs> Okay, I think it's all for now for this quick video. If you have any questions about VST, about FL Studio, about Analog Lab or any other DAW software, don't hesitate to ask a question in the comments and I promise I will answer all the comments and maybe I will create a special video for you. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it of course. See you later, it was BB Walker.